Hi there, I just watched the, uh, the coolest training about the Formula One racing all over the world. There's, uh, I think there's 24, 25 races all across the world. And there's one company called F1 Experiences that gets you into the races. And not just here's your hotel and that's your seat down there, but they get you into kind of more expensive, more exclusive, more definitely VIP uh, packages where you get to tour the paddocks, where you get to meet the drivers, where you get to go inside the garage where they're working on the cars. And obviously that's at certain specific times. And it's about a three day package with hotel, with accommodation or uh, transportation back and forth to the races. Uh, they take you there in the morning. You're there all day. You've got your, uh, there's there's VIP, uh, there's different levels. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look inside, but I'll start with, sorry, I'm putting on my glasses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you inside this and you're gonna be blown away so here let's just look at just this um there the the the, the, the races so <clears throat> you can see in the corner here uh fourth to seventh of april this is a japanese grand prix it says buy now there's tickets available for that this is a uh, shanghai and 18th of april it's sold out uh, miami uh this is back in um, <clears throat> in italy in monaco have you heard of that one yeah that's pretty famous uh, Grand Prix of Montreal. Hey, if you're in Canada, uh, the Formula One in Montreal is a mega event. Uh, they do it in Spain, in Austria, in England. In England. Uh, and you can see as we keep going on, I'm not going to you know, read for you all the different uh, spots here, but you can see here Hungary, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, uh, Mexico City, Austin, Texas. So it's starting to become big in the States as well. Uh, you want to see the biggest, fastest, most expensive cars in the world. This is what uh, what this is. And I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick Austin just because uh, it's sort of an American audience oftentimes, or maybe Miami. That one's in May. Okay, so it's coming up pretty quick, but let's, I can see the buy now. So I'll be able to, um, let's see if we can start with this. I haven't done this already. So, all right, so here we go. Um, and every one of them have different levels. You can see here, Grand Sand Packages. So here's the most expensive ones. Start with the, uh, the Grand Sand Package. And then the hospitality package and you can get just a ticket in a hotel and uh, that's a pretty easy uh kind of thing i think i saw ones that were like about 899 dollars maybe here they start <clears throat> you get a really good idea of the range 1600 dollars to twenty three thousand dollars. and i'm going to show you the difference in the packages you want to do something that you're never going to forget okay here's the loop this is in miami right uh yes <clears throat> sorry so um, I'm going to go down here to the uh, F1 experiences. Uh, let's see. I should be able to show you start to finish. Okay. So that one is here on the start to finish map. And then, so that's kind of your uh, beginning kind of ones. And I want to show you the packages. Let's see if I can do that. Start to finish. View the package. Let's come in here and go. Uh... So here, this will give you a good idea. So you're going to show up on Thursday. <clears throat> you can see that you're walking around, meeting the people, getting really close. Then here we go on Friday, pit lane walk. Uh, this is a guided track tour on Thursday. They put you on a flatbed truck and you do the lap <clears throat> of the of the racetrack. Yeah, this is getting right in there. Pit lane is pit lane. Guided track is you're on the track. Photo with the trophy, that's the real trophy. So it's a crazy package. And then on Thursday, they do something where they get some of the, and I, I'm going to sip away from what he says about the biggest names in F1, because uh, depending on how big of a fan you are, a guy who's a current driver, that might be pretty exciting. A legendary driver from, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, uh, you might not know who that is. A media personality or the safety car driver. And I'm saying, so there's an F1 team executive. You're going to get some great stories, some great uh, experiences. You're going to know a lot about F1 from having been on the track, been in the pit, touched the trophy. You get the idea. So this one, uh, do we do the price of this? This has a hotel stay. And this is basically, I'm going to call it beginning kind of level because it's around $3,668 for a person. And then there's probably some taxes. Let's see, if I make this two people, let's go to about 7,200. Yeah, so it's in that range. We'll go back to the one. I'll give you an idea of what you're talking about. So you're, you're, uh, you've got a weekend. Uh, you're, <laughs> and here's the part that's going to blow you away. I'm going to go back. 
this is the beginning of the really in-depth experiences of being a part of it. So this is called F1 Experiences Live. And then that's kind of like your, not just your, obviously it's a long ways from, hi, here's your seat and here's your ticket. You're sitting over there. Uh, go get yourself a hot dog and a beer. This is crazy. Then they have a level up from that called the Champions Club, which is basically, um, I'm going to go inside this to show you. And again, we're, we're showing you Miami. So Champions Club, this is here. I think the Paddock Club is at the start and the finish line. So um, the Champions Club, let's go in and see the package on that. So that first one was 36.68. This one has a bit more um, of a, so you're inside the, uh, you can see here, you've got your own, uh, you've got tables, you've got uh, food, you've got open bar, you've got uh, F1 personnel roaming through. Um, so it's this kind of club set up there that you can see. Um, it's quite a bit different from there's, <laughs> there's your seat going up for a beer. It is a whole different deal. And they step this up a little bit um, because you still get to walk down pit lane. Um, I think and then you walk going a flatbed truck. You hear from the, the names and I, I'm going to there's a bit more of an upgrade to this. So here you go. You're not just out. Now you do a walk down the starting grid. Now you get the uh, photo right in the grid. That's the start line behind you. These are F1 insiders showing up. The guided paddock is going inside the paddock and you can uh, you can see here getting selfies with F1 drivers. Uh, it's a big, big deal. Um, like they say, one of the most uh, uh, sought after experiences. And I'm gonna go down. This is a bit of an upgrade of the hotel. Um, and they're still not going crazy because you're not gonna spend a lot of time in the hotel if you're being picked up at say nine in the morning and dropped off at four or five, maybe you go out for a party. How much time are you spending? And so you can see here for one person, three days, the Champions Club, $6,793. So again, uh, oh, that says no accommodation. So let's see what happens when we go on. I don't stay at the Hilton. And now it's 10,300. So you got, a, I think, three, four days uh, worth of, um, yeah. And that's his run of house. And so you can see the, the accommodations adds on another few thousand dollars to this, but $6,700 for that. And I'm going to go back and give you just a quick look because if you're into it in a big way, you're going to be blown away. Okay, I won't even show you the legend one because it's extra crazy. I'm just going to do uh, the paddock one here. You can see here the Haas team. Uh, so you can go to different ones. Let's go see this one because I think you're on the roof here. Um, so let's see if you don't like you're over top of where the pit is. You're over top of the starting line. You're uh, climbing. You can just see it's just the ultimate experience. And I'm going to scream through all this. They do this, the pit lane walk is as they're doing the cars, the guided paddock, they're, they're actually doing stuff in there. They're there. Again, you're meeting, uh, I think they show um, not just the drivers, but probably the owner back there. Um, and let's go down. I'm going to skip the hotels because it adds, I don't know, a few thousand dollars. And you can see this gets up to $16,000. And let's add in some accommodations just to give you an idea. There's the Hilton again. And now uh, you're at 19. So it takes you from 16 to 19, gives you a good idea. It's, you're never going to forget being in the middle of all this. Anyhow, I'm going to cut it short. No, I'm going to go back on this. I'm going to go to the Legends one just for one more thing to show you. Now the Legends one, this might be the very, I'm not sure how the difference seems. There's a few different ranges like that. Um, I'm going to scream to the bottom of this just to get the price. Um, and so this is the very top level. It's about $20,000 with no accommodations. And then we'll throw in, I don't know, throw in the Grand Beach. What does that do? That's $4,000 to it. And does the Hilton make it cheaper? Not by much. <laughs> there you go. It's around $24,000 for a, an absolute experience of a lifetime. And the part that's really going to get you excited, I go back to the races. It's not just in Austin. They're all over the world. You can They, they start getting sold out for these different things. They get sold out for the different categories, but definitely I'm gonna put my link for the, uh, my name's Andrew Larder for a travel advisor. If you have an interest in actually, not just being at an F1, but experiencing the F1 race, um, I can set it up for you for any of these uh, cities. And this is uh, going on this year. So there's like 24, 25 ones this year. There's a whole nother set going on next year. So you can see wait lists and deposits and stuff being set up for Monte Carlo, for Miami, for Shanghai. Where do you want to go see a race? 
Melbourne, Australia, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, you know, Japan, uh, they're all over the place and they keep going on a rotated uh, 25 race or so um, schedule. Uh, I think that's right. I got about four. Uh, I'm not even counting. Whatever, whatever it all adds up to, it's the most you can experience, the closest you can get to not just the drivers, but to every. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, stop the screen. Hey, that brings it to me. Okay, I'm just in here uh, for Travel Advisor. The link's in the video description. Um, it's as easy as that. You uh, you click the link, you'll get my profile. I look even prettier than this. And uh, and then you can uh, find out more information, do the booking, put the deposit. You can get into the, fa the, the ones that are still upcoming if you get on it. And if not, you can book things for next year uh, you'll see there's a whole schedule there. Uh, pretty exciting. Look up F1. If you're really into it, click the link for my my uh, my site. Send me a message that just goes, hey, I'm interested in this, and I'll put it together for you. So check it out. I'm Andrew Larder. Uh, it's called For a Travel Advisor. But all you're going to care about is it is not just a beer and a hot dog and a seat at the F1. It is a memorable experience of a lifetime for you and your buddies you're never going to forget it. And you're going to be right in there, touching the machine, shaking the hands of the, the picture of the driver, touching the championship trophy, the whole nine yards. You're going to love this. It is the ultimate experience. Go check it out. Click the link in the video description. It'll take you to my kind of profile and just send me a quick little thing going, hey, I want more information on this. And, and away we go. Go check it out. F1 races are going on all through the year. Go check it out.